This is how a cat acts on a catnip ball. <laughs> Sausage. I don't even know what kind of sauce, but this is gonna be amazing. Get some broccoli. You love your broccoli, though. <laughs> I don't like broccoli, but I really like black beans. Ugh. It's one of. It's a superfood. Why isn't this folks? Oh, there you go. It's a superfood, and it's my favorite ever. I love black beans. They're so good for you, and so I always load up on that. And 
Lots of rice noodles. Love it. We just watched A Fault in Our Star. That was by far the one of the saddest movies I've ever seen. I cried like a Are baby shaking? several times. Okay. What? Okay, I just don't want you to shake it. I, I'm shaking right now. I just watched a fucking horrible, okay, hold it up. Hold it up. sad movie, okay? Like, what do you want me to do? No, it's a great, it's a great story and stuff. It's just sad, man. It's really sad, you yeah. know? Just for a lot of reasons, you know? The love story, sad, but Upsetting. overwhelming sometimes, you know? Yeah. You know, I have a friend that has cancer and... It reminds me a lot of that, yeah, so, I knew that was you know, any movie that's cancer, like, makes me upset because, you know, I know what it's like to be with somebody with, that has cancer firsthand, so, definitely worth watching. Look at that on everyone, but, yeah, it was definitely um, just as good as a book, in my opinion. I think... They normally books that turn into movies tend to not be as good as the movie, but that was an exception that like brought it to life for me. It was like there were several parts where I was like, just like when I was reading it, I was like, I wonder how this would work, or I'd like, I'd, I'd like think, you know, like you, you wish you could see it played out, and the movie like helped bring so many. Like the emotion came alive so much more, and they were such good actors, the two of them. Yeah. What is her name? Uh, I forget. Her she's name, the one in um, Divert, uh, or not, oh, uh, The Descendants. Yeah. It was such a good movie. Gosh, it's probably so dark in here. But The Descendants, and then he was amazing. Yeah, he did a really good oh job. Oh my that gosh, was... the scene in the car, He's powerful. Like, he did a great job. <sighs> whole movie. The parents very, were good actors. Very powerful story for sure. Were you surprised by Yeah, I mean, the don't I kinda, spoil anything though. Yeah, I mean, I kind of kind of figured something like a twist. A twist would happen to it, you know. I just picked up a chocolate milk on the way home <laughs> because I had to take my Lunesta and um, I think I mentioned it before but they recommend you take Lunesta with milk because it cuts out the metal taste of Lunesta which totally tastes like metal um, and we're almost home so I took the pill so that when I get home I'm being nice and tired I can just hop into my PJs and get in bed but we were just having a little flashback because Josh loves chocolate milk, so that's the flavor he got, and it's so cute because I remember like when we first started dating four years ago, well we weren't even dating actually, we were just kind of like hanging out, I remember he like pulled up in his like green Ford Explorer, he got out of the car, and he had a little chocolate milk in one of these little cartons, and it was so cute. He's so cute. I was just like, oh my gosh, is he drinking a chocolate milk? <laughs> we were like, really we were like 17. Yeah. So every time I drink chocolate milk or I see one of these little ones, it just reminds me of like when we first started dating. Chocolate milk will always remind me of you, boo, because I know it's your favorite. Yeah. Get more than just a pint. I'd get the core, which is the big <laughs> one, and I would get have this core of chocolate milk, this big quart that I carry around <laughs> and I would take to class or I would take oh my God. to work. To the Geek Squad? Yep. Oh my I'd God. I'd bring it in the Geek Squad. Other people would be drinking like energy drinks and sodas. I'd bring in like a quart of chocolate milk <laughs> and I'd just sip on it all day. <laughs> or like, or I was really bad I used to get the quart and then I'd get like a donut with it. Oh my gosh. Or no. No, my it was my breakfast. I used to go to a 7 a.m. math class. I would stop at the gas station in the morning, or before when, when I was a lifeguard and I worked at like 5 a.m. I'd stop at the gas station. I'd get a quart of chocolate milk and I'd get a bunch of those little powdered donuts. little mini powdered donuts, and that was my favorite breakfast. That is not a breakfast. That is a dessert. So that is cake and chocolate like, flavored milk. When I think about how many, like, how much fat and calories was in that quart 
that I drank in like two hours is insane. That's frightening. Like, that's like my whole day's worth, or a couple days worth of one thing. But I love chocolate milk. So good. Sunday night, I just got done filming and editing a video. Um, little Chef Josh here <laughs> is making his most famous meal in our house that he makes. It is um, some tacos. What Josh's? What is your special? Your special. Um, There's nothing special about. No, but your little I mean, trick that you like to melt your cheese in them. Well, that's the way my mom made them for me. You put the meat and the cheese in it, and then put it in the oven for a little bit, so the cheese melts and it's cheesy and gooey and good. I don't like mine like that, so he only makes that for himself. Yeah. <laughs> I like cold cheese, but these are turkey tacos. So we used. Um, ground turkey, which is really good. You really can't taste the difference. We've been pretty much doing that for like almost two years now. See, you wouldn't even know. This is gonna Tastes be delicious. Good. Are you gonna fill my taco shells for me, Boo? This is quite a service. That's right. When it's taco night. Taco Josh night. That's right. Taco Josh. So we are trying a new. Um, face mask tonight. This is the Aztec Secrets face mask. Um, I got it off of Amazon. It's two pounds and you mix it with apple cider vinegar. Feels very strange. It feels like it tightens a lot. It's supposed to draw out a ton of impurities. I look like Shrek. So <laughs> what do you think, Fame? Uh, I think it's working. I can't. <laughs> we put some on his chest. Can't too. move my face at all. So, <laughs> yeah. Poor Josh. I gave him um, some like new body wash, and it totally made him like break out on his body. So, I put some on his chest too. Hopefully, it'll help clear him up. So, I don't know. Lily is still loving her catnip toys. How's it going? How's it going? Josh has his test for his certification. What certification is this, babe? It's called Certified Internet Web Foundations Associate. <laughs> Certified Internet Web Foundations, Foundations Associate. So a bunch of tech mumbo jumbo, basically. And once he gets it, he will be one step higher in the tech world. And he's doing that on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, he has his interview. Interview. Yeah, I'm going to bed super early tonight. I'm going to take my Lunesta pretty soon here and go to sleep. Hi, guys. So it is Monday afternoon. I haven't vlogged all day again. Haha, <laughs> I suck. So I just got done with therapy. <laughs> it's going so well for me. I'm so surprised at how well it's doing for me. Like, it's really helping me to see things in a different light, and I think it's really going to help me, um, yeah, just overall. So I'm really excited about it, and I'm loving it so far. I'm on my way to the grocery store right now. I'm pulling into the parking lot. I'm going to get some stuff for shrimp scampi tonight. Um, sorry, that was really loud. Josh wants some shrimp scampi. I told him he could have whatever he wants tonight because he's studying for his big test and tonight is going to be a big study night for him so I'm going to make some shrimp scampi healthy shrimp scampi so Ugh, poor Josh he just texted me and told me that they pushed his interview back another week <sighs> so now it's just more time for him to not know what's going to happen with his job so that's just great I mean, I'm just stressed out because he's stressed out. <laughs> I don't really, it's not like a big deal for me, but he's been so on edge. It's just more time for him to be on edge now. <sighs> Why can't people ever just keep it together? I guess they just said they're too busy to do it this week. I don't know. So, more time. <sighs> We're just having some little cuddle puddle time right now. We got some Tucker right here. 
It's a meeple. Hi. Tucker always does this to me. He tries to grab my hand, so I'll pet him. Come here, buddy. And then I even have little pie down there. Nanny. So I am about to start cooking some shrimp scampi, um, a healthy version with, I'm gonna try out rice noodles with it, which is normally what I make with stir fry, but I think it would be pretty good with shrimp scampi. It should be a little less calories and less carbs and better for you. So we should see how that goes. We're just sauteing the shrimp here with olive oil and a little salt and pepper. Shrimp cooks extremely fast. Now we're just gonna take the shrimp out. And it's okay if they're not fully cooked, which I'm pretty sure they probably they look are. Fully cooked to me. But it's said to leave them kind of pink or not fully cooked, but that's okay. Take them out. It's been probably about a minute. Mm. Shrimpies. Mm. Josh, don't eat one. I'm gonna try a little no, bit. No, baby, baby. Hey! Mmm. 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 I can just eat a whole plate of shrimp. I know you can. Shrimp. Shrimp. It'd be a shrimp bowl. Now this is pretty much the same as what I was doing, what I made last week. This is just some garlic. It's like the same pasta recipe I made last time, except we're just adding shrimp this time. White wine? Where's white wine? Oh, it's out in the fridge. Into the garage. There we go. Close. Oops. California canning oats white wine. Favorite? So we can get drunk off our dinner. Wow. We're gonna add about half a cup of wine, a little less. A little more olive oil. And then we put the shrimpies back in. And they get to simmer. In here, kind of evenly spread them around. We're gonna make our pad thai noodles, which cook really fast because they're just um, rice. Now, this might be gross, but we're gonna see. Josh will be so mad at me. If it's gross. I will be, because we'll have to go get Taco Bell. <laughs> it's true. When anything fails in our house, we just go get Taco Bell. <laughs> How many nights of that have we had? Josh is putting up some parsley and he says, it'd be fun to be a chef. Except I think I'd be like a, like a barbecue chef. <laughs> I'm adding some crushed red pepper flakes. I like our food to be spicy a little bit. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of paprika. Just a little bit. Add some flavor. Mm -hmm. You put that on top of the pasta. Now we're getting some bubble action. Let's hope this is good. Now, baby, you're gonna add your parsley. Mm. Josh is such a critical little chef. Or critical critiquer. I'm a critical eater. What do you think? It's interesting. That's good. Interesting. What's bad about it? Nothing's bad about it. It's good. You like it? Yeah. It's better than I thought it would be. Good. Mm. I like it. I made freeze pops finally. Maybe we have to run them under hot water? How do we open them? Josh got his out. 
Come right underwater. Here, try it. Mmm. Oh, this is good. I, I, I stand up.